this week on Raiders Talk of the Nation. We've got legends. I was blessed and honored to be here, and I'm, I'm thankful that I'm still here. Royalty. It's the biggest boss in the game, Ricky Rose, and you watching Raiders Talk in the Nation. This is probably one of the sexiest stadiums that I've ever been to. The whole look is so cool. What is it about it that's so sexy? Well, you know, obviously the colors. It's Vegasy. it's classy, it's just right. It's the show you don't want to miss here on Raiders Talk of the Nation. Can you believe that the football season is more than halfway over? It makes me want to cry. But you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. And we've been having a lot right here on Raiders Talk of the Nation. I'm Sibley Skulls, and as you've seen, whether it's Monday night football or Sunday game day, fans pack Allegiant Stadium from around the country. And that includes some very familiar faces. We've got a few coming your way this week, but first, as one of the most watched events of the year, nothing comes close to the Super Bowl when it comes to preparation and execution. And for the first time ever, Las Vegas will be a host city, with the Raiders lending a hand to get the city game day ready. My name is Jack Rowe, I'm the Environmental Director for the National Football League, and I can't tell you how excited we are to be back here in Las Vegas. This is just, well, I mean, we've had three big events here already, and they were spectacular, and we know that Super Bowl 58 is going to be the greatest Super Bowl ever. We're here in Henderson uh, doing the passing of the Golden Shovel, which is just a symbolic shovel that we pass from one Super Bowl host community to the next. So yesterday we had our final event in Arizona. Today, the first event here at Henderson to kick off community greening for Super Bowl. This is one of more than a dozen projects that we're gonna do between now and Super Bowl. Community greening means tree planting, it means doing uh, community gardens, it means doing uh, pollinator habitat and restoring native uh, habitat as well too. So it's just part of the legacy that, that we all wanna leave after Super Bowl's come and gone. Still to come. It's really the vibe that's created right now. Like, we gotta win the day, so that's kinda what we're doing. And later. Yo, we should go out there and get a hot dog off the grill and just kick it with these Raider Nation fans. But first. This is probably one of the sexiest stadiums that I've ever been to. Raiders Talk of the Nation, we'll be right back. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Powered by Cox, a proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. We're here at Allegiant Stadium. I'm talking to none other than Babyface. You just rocked the field doing the national anthem. What are these moments like still for you to be able to have those and, and to be at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas? Still get nervous. You just concentrate and try to do a great job. What has your career meant to you so far and what have you learned about yourself? My career has been uh, blessed. And I don't know, I'm pretty much the same person I was when I began. So I'm just gonna try to keep staying that way. Back in July, you had posted that you were grateful for another number one song on Billboard charts. Again, how does that continue to come to you and to have these moments? You just try not to uh, just settle and just always just kind of be open to new things and uh, new music and new artists and don't try to get stuck in your ways and think that your way is the best way. I know I've seen you with SZA, different R&B artists. The R&B space is so special. Are there any artists out right now that you feel are those next legendary artists? I think it's a good time for music and it's a good time where people are still keep coming up with things. And, and so I'm excited to you know be a part of it and still be, and still be working. What does R&B music mean to you as a whole? In the 90s, that's what R&B music was, pop music at the same time. It's rhythm and blues, but it goes beyond that. It's it's a very popular music. Do you have a stylist? Do you dress yourself? What are the moments and the shades or everything every time I see you? My stylist is mostly uh, Rika, is my girlfriend. She gets you right. Yeah. <laughs> she gets the little bitty things that matter. Do you have any moments that you remember in your career from Vegas besides today? Because we know that Alicia Stadium was rocking with you today. Vegas is special to me because my mom ended up moving here in um, 95. She's passed away now, but this is where she wanted to come. 
and uh, and this is where she we laid her to rest here as well. I just recently became a resident here as well, so I feel like close to my mom. And, and Vegas is just special. This is probably one of the sexiest stadiums that I've ever been to. The whole look is so cool. What is it about it that's so sexy? Well, you know, obviously the colors. It's Vegasy. It's classy. It's just right. So it's a it's a cool stadium. It's going to be a great year for you know the Super Bowl. This is this is going to be great. And you'll be here for Super Bowl. I'll be here for Super. Bowl. We know we got an usher coming up. Yeah, yeah, no question. That's so, family, right? Yeah, it's going to be great. Allegiant Stadium, the man of the hour, about to take over our halftime. First initial thoughts walking into Allegiant Stadium. It's next level. It's futuristic. Everybody else got to step their game up. We pulled up 8 a.m. to do a little rehearsal before our performance, and then I heard Snoop Dogg, I heard Too Short. No, the playlist was next level. I actually leaned up, let the windows all the way down, and was like, yo, we should go out there and get a hot dog off the grill and just kick it with these Raider Nation fans. Next game when you don't have to work, you gotta come out and do the tailgate. I have to be here without a doubt. Rick Ross has already said he's ready to go. You no, know, it's real. The game's turned all the way up. We here. You actually played football, right? Right. Okay, what position were you? What is your center? I was an All-American in high school. Yeah, 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 I was All-American. I actually got a scholarship. And when I got a scholarship, I went up to Albany State and I appreciated the love and the opportunity they showed me, but it wasn't, it wasn't the right time, so I came back to Miami maybe two months later. But you know music is where you're supposed to be. Right, that's where my heart was at. It was, it was, at, it was at the music, it was, it was, straight up. Your son as well, plays, right? Oh, it mean a lot. It just mean a lot just to see the, the little man get the opportunity to live his dreams and, you know, get out with his teammates and build something special. And most importantly, start to build something for itself. It's a good thing. Family's everything. You better believe it. Now, the Raiders do a lot in the community. You yourself in that Miami community, you are there always for everyone. What does community mean to you um, just to be able to be a part of it? Well, it wouldn't be no Rick Ross if it wasn't for, for my community. You know what I mean? It just, it was all about community. Growing up where I was at, Carroll City, Miami Gardens, that's all you had. Everybody, your surroundings, everybody that grew up on your neighborhood, your block. That was really your family. That's what it was. And it's still like that to this day. So Miami Gardens, I love y'all. I want to have some fun with you, okay? On social, you talk, you show us the, the clothes, you show us the cars. Do you know how many chains you have? Do you know how many pairs of shoes you have? Do you know how many cars you have? No number. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. Remember your first purchase when the album dropped, the very first album dropped, or, or when you got your, your upfront money? I don't, I don't. I'm gonna be out, yeah, I was I was on my stack mode. I just wanted to stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I got that that first that first check from LA Reed and, and Jay-Z, I, I was in stack mode. Yeah, I was already riding big, I was riding foreign already. I, you know what I'm saying? I had a cool crib, but it was just time. If I was gonna be a multimillionaire, it was time for me to decide right then, which I did, and I got on my stack zone. I have to tell you, that first album I played over and over and over, like, Absolutely. you're oh. a boss. You're a boss, I can see it. Okay, I can give see me a boat, put the yacht up there. You better believe me, you feel me? Listen, a football for yourself, watching the Raiders again. I know you said it's like a different atmosphere and everything else. What goes through your mind? Does Rick Ross still get nervous? I just talked to Babyface. He said he gets nervous still. Oh, um, I can't say I get nervous. I just know I like the, you know, we just gonna turn up. You know what I'm saying? Raider Nation. I think about that first time that that logo was a statement to me one time. R.I.P. to Eze. -E, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that Raider Nation always been highly respected in the hip hop culture. Just what L.A. represented and stood for. Now we out here in Vegas and we doing it big. I may have to buy a crib out here. Oh, are you gonna come out here? It's like Miami without the water. The water make a big deal, but you never know. We may have to do this. We may have to do this. It's that type of vibe. 
It is. You come out here a lot, you perform a lot, and now you're part of Raider Nation. I am a part of Raider Nation. One time for dress. And then, you know, whenever I come out here, it's just a, it's an amazing time. I try to stay up two days at a time. Okay, talk to me about the project. Myself, Meek Mill, we going back to back. The best producers in the game, the biggest features in the game. Y'all can pre-save the album right now. It's the biggest boss in the game, Ricky Roseanne. You watching Raiders talk in the nation. Once a Raider, always a Raider. It means that you're going to be loved for the rest of your life. And later. Just getting the opportunity to spend uh, this Halloween season with these kids is fun. Come out here, mess around on the jumpy house, have fun, throw the football around a little bit since a good time. Raiders Stock of the Nation will be back after this. This segment has been brought to you by Modelo, brewed with the highest quality ingredients for a taste that's pure gold. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. After playing six seasons for the Raiders and starting in two Super Bowls, Kenny King made one of the biggest plays to cap the 1980 season leading to Super Bowl victory. Now he gets to enjoy rooting on the new Raiders class as a former player and fan. You already know the man who needs no introduction, but I will tell you anyway, Kenny King is here. You lit the torch here at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. What was that moment like for you? Well, you know, just being able to be here for this game. I mean, when I got the call, when we asked to come, I said yes. Two days later, I got a call to ask if I would like the torch. I said, oh yes, oh definitely, oh definitely. I'd be more than happy to. Being here for this week was even a bigger thing for me. I, I predicted 100 yards for Josh Jacobs, so when they get 100 yards, I got to go find him. I've never met the kid, I want to talk to him. I think this kid is going to be a great football player, and, I, and I'm just excited about being here today, you know, for, for this game, because I think that this is going to be the turnaround. Knowing what you brought to the team and what you've seen with them, we talk about Antonio Pierce, the interim head coach right now. He talks about the Raider way. Enjoying and loving the fact that you're a Raider. Embracing the fact that you're a Raider. What does the Raider way mean to you? The Raider way means what Al Davis said to us in 1983 after winning the Super Bowl 18. When he was handing out the rings, he says, when you walk into a stadium and they boo you, you know they fear you. We've got to get back to that. That's what the we booing, get, yeah. We got to get back to the boo. And when they boo us, I mean, you you look forward to them. Boo me, because you know we're going to kick your butts. And off to King, outside left tackle into the second. He takes off the 15. Do you have a favorite memory of playing in the silver and black? Gosh, there's so many. The Super Bowl 15, you know, just being introduced, the introduction, it was just, you know, just so surreal, the game itself and being there, that was probably the biggest event for me ever in this, you know, in the game. To have those moments to be alumni, to, to come to this where it's like, this is what the Raiders deserve, right? To have this stadium, to have this new, this new era coming up. Um, what are you most excited about for the future? And what does Raider Nation mean to you when you see them out there still tried and true? Once we get through this season and, and find out what we're going to do, we're going you know, to turn it around. The whole nucleus of this organization is going to change, and it's going to be for a good reason. It's an honor to sit and talk to you. You've been here now to Legion Stadium. Once a Raider, always a Raider. What does that mean to you? Once a Raider, always a Raider. It means that you're going to be loved for the rest of your life. You're going to be a part of an organization. You're going to be a part of a team that will never forget you. And I can say that this organization has never forgotten me. I was blessed and honored to be here, and I'm, I'm thankful that I'm still here. When you think of the Shield and you think of the fans. Well, just win, baby. There's only one thing that counts, just win. Up next. We are here with some kids from the Boys and Girls Club. We got some games going on, uh, a lot of candy being given out. Don't go anywhere. Raiders Talk of the Nation is coming right back. This segment has been brought to you by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights, book now only at Allegiant.com. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Intermountain Health, the official health partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Discover your inner champ at Raiders.com forward slash champ. For the second year, the Raiders teamed up with the Boys and Girls Club of Southern Nevada to bring a little fun to the holiday season. Players, Raiderettes, and front office staff joined together to decorate 17 tents for more than 200 kids 
to stop by for some sweet treats and fun. We are here with some kids from the Boys and Girls Club. We got some games going on. Uh, a lot of candy being given out, probably in a, like an alarming amount of candy being given out. Just getting an opportunity to spend uh, this Halloween season with these kids is fun. Come out here, mess around on the jumpy house, have fun, throw the football around a little bit, so it's a good time. Tell me either what you're dressed up as right now or what you're going to be for Halloween. Um, I'm going to be Chucky. Chucky? Okay, what about you? I don't know. I don't know? What about you? Um, I'm a cholo, as you can see. Uh, Cholo, okay, got it. What about you? I'm gonna be a zombie football player. Okay, and what's been the best part about today so far? Uh, candy and we get to come here. What was the best part? Of, what's the best piece of candy you had? Um, 100 grand. All right, let me see some candy. What you got? I got this. I, this let's do. Let's do a live taste test. Let's do a live taste test. What we got? Live, live we got the sour punch. Come on, Paris. Come uh huh. On, Paris. Live, live taste test. Like. What's it taste like? It tastes nice. It tastes nice. Is it sweet? Yeah, that's what candy is. What about you? What we got here? Live taste test. Um, Lightsaber's gummies. Okay, we got the five flavor pack. What we got? We trying the pink? We trying the pink, pink one. All right. All right, tell us. It's good. You want me to it's good? It? Is it sweet? It's mid or it's good? It's mid. Oh, I love seeing the smile on those kids' faces. And I love seeing y'all smile every time I see you out in the field. That's right, you're watching Raiders Talk of the Nation. We've got more episodes on the way. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sibley Skulls. I'll see you next week.